loves welcome back to my channel it's been a long 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 time but i'm back <laughs> that's all that matters i am back y'all probably gonna hear it in my voice i've been having a cold um but anyways we got three pals today y'all know i'm moving so i don't really have a lot on my board but lighters for some reason so i have a big lighter i have a torch lighter and then i have a pink Big lighter, pick the pal that best resonates with you. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. And we're going to get started. Hi. Pal A. Okay, pal A. So we're doing, what's this month? What's today? Alexa, what's today? Today is Tuesday, November 8th. November 8th, okay. Let's see the energy from November to December, okay? What's coming towards you? Let's see, okay. I didn't do a lot of ho a whole lot of prep. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all can see that I didn't do a whole lot of prep, but I wanted to come on camera. So here I is. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, a lot of fire. Okay. Yes, a lot of fire. A lot of fire. A lot of fire. A lot of fire and desire. I should say. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. Okay, let me keep that in my back pocket right there. <clears throat> so it seems like we might have a situation regarding love. And maybe you're dealing with something that is Maybe you're indecisive. Maybe your partner is indecisive. Maybe you're having some ch some type of like just letting the relationship ramble. Um, heartache over what you no longer have. Standing up for your beliefs. Fighting your corner. Protective. Good business sense. Confidence. Attractive. Magnetic. A woman or a man, but a feminine energy that is being seen as someone who is uh gorgeous because <laughs> you're coming up as the queen of wands so of course you're very gorgeous you're uh confident you're beautiful people look at you people are noticing you you're probably having a lot of opportun opportunities when it comes to love okay all right Something's going on with behavior, though. Maybe somebody's strategizing. Maybe something's lacking. Maybe somebody's not being truthful. A laid-back energy. Conflict, fighting. That's kind of contradicting. Conflict, fighting, arguments... Disagreements, struggles. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Uh, uh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to... It's weird. Um, Because it's saying clearly this is something about love, right? It's saying what's coming towards you is somebody that's mature, but there's going to be energy of needing to be protective over maybe the relationship or being assertive or having stamina through challenges it says that you being in the energy of confidence is going to create some type of magnet energy so whoever this person is that's coming into your life that might be older than you is going to be very magnetically charged towards you because of your attraction and your confidence and your beauty right the the energy that you're going to be giving off but it's something that i don't like about this because it's saying um the seven of sorts so maybe it could be a situation where you're in a relationship that is in a make it a break it type of energy or and, and you know they could it could be just like the energy of like you just meeting somebody and wanting to have a good relationship or a good impression or you just broke up with this person and y'all just getting back together or it's like y'all going through some type of conflict but it's something regarding that. I'm 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 gonna look deeper into it. Um, 
Struggle, opposition, battles, aggression, temper, clashing, personality, strikes. Okay, okay. shit. Let, let, me, <laughs> let me get to the actual, the meat of the situation. What's going on? I don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. So you guys are each other's complementary energy. Spirit says, beware of dating patterns and don't react. <laughs> Um, don't react or don't be impulsive. If you're feeling like you're having any type of energy of like, um, okay, this is why I'm laughing because this is what they're saying. Don't, because you are each, you, because you are each other's counterparts, right? Right. You are each other's counterparts. You guys are each other's balances. Um, this person is going to trigger you may not trigger you but it's saying that it probably will be simply because it's saying to be aware of old things that you have done in the past so and not to react or to be impulsive when it comes to certain triggering energy but to address your concerns without attacking the person communication is very important so, um, if you have, or if you are someone with a, the, a conf <laughs> conflicting, uh, argumentative type of energy, and I'm laughing because this is kind of my energy. I'm learning not to be, um, impulsive, <laughs> but it's something about needing to have healthy dialogue with this person, whoever this person is. Um... Okay. Uh I don't know who this person is. I don't know what is what this is talking about. Okay, so anyways, so this might be a for a very selective group of people. If this doesn't make sense, then I don't think this one's for you. I got two other pals, so you might want to choose again. But this is like a very, very, very um, direct story. <laughs> direct story to somebody. It's saying that in relationships, if you are coming into a relationship or trying to build onto a relationship or trying to have some type of connection with someone, it could be romantic or friendship. Spirit says the best way for you to start acting better in your relationships is to consider all perspectives of situations, right? Don't have, don't overreact, but rather respond, okay? It says, um... To I'm trying to say it the best I can. I'm trying to say it the, mo the most political way I can say it. But I'm just, oh, God, don't put a baby in a box. Let me see. I'm going to say it the nicest way I can say it. The best way for you to be able to have a successful relationship with this person or the next person is not to be able to hold on to your past, but to honestly let things go. And when you have a problem, make sure that you are talking to this person and, and being healthy in that, that conversation. Um... Not to be toxic and not to overreact or not to feel like you got to get back at somebody. Um, it's also saying like not to live in the energy of being codependent or being obsessive or being possessive of your person or the situation. Um, it might be some toxic thinking or some toxic behavior in this situation. But it says that your relationship or whoever this person is really likes you and wants to um, have some type of commitment with you. But spirit wants you to check your energy this person i think this person they say they like you just as much as you like them but honestly i feel like because <laughs> it keeps on saying like all forms of communication right we got communication we got love call we have talking we have talking again communication is going to be the best thing for this relationship or just any relationships in your life but honestly this is what's coming next to you so what's coming next is a time where you're going to be feeling very beautiful, very confident. And you might have someone in your life that might be older or more mature or might have a mature energy coming towards you. 
Spirit says the best way for you to avoid any type of conflict or negative energy in your relationship is communication. Don't be toxic. Let shit go and have a good time. Communication is important. I'm going to say it again. Communication is important. I feel like you guys could have way more than you have now. I don't know what you have now, but it's saying that you guys could have some type of ascension. Some of you guys might get married. Some of you guys might get engaged. Some of you guys might get, be committed because this person likes you just as much as you like them. But communication is so important. Okay, so if this makes any type of sense, have a great, wonderful, wonderful day. I'm trying to look at these cards. You deserve the best. And the funny thing about it, it says that this relationship, it's not funny, but I'll be thinking about my life. Um, what you need to know about this situation or what's coming towards you is you have the energy to make or break it. So if you want it, work at it. So if this makes any type of sense to you, Kai, please let me know. And I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Hi, pal B. Okay, pal B. So what is coming towards you for the month of November and December? Let's do love because apparently love is a strong energy this time of the year. So let's see. Oh, okay. Some of you guys are going to be having a lot of opportunities when it comes to love. You're going to be um, shining. So, um, people are going to be watching you. You might even have people that might be a little bit more um, older than you might might start approaching you. I feel like you're going to have... Some maybe like more than one dating opportunity or maybe more than one crush that might um that you might have to choose from. For Pal B, what's coming towards them? You're gonna go from a, a period of maybe feeling lonely or lost or maybe unsure about romance, um maybe feeling unlucky or just maybe you're coming from a period of being single to going into a period of being really appreciated. Um, I feel like all eyes are going to be on you this period. And Spirit is saying, don't be afraid of this energy, right? Because they want you to see through any type of false beliefs in your life right now i think that you might have a really good opportunity coming your way regarding love um Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's what's saying? What is it saying right now? I feel like I feel like you're about to come out of a period of not probably having a lot of opportunities to having a significant amount of opportunities or maybe you haven't been out on a date recently. I think you're gonna get an opportunity. Um somebody's gonna start appreciating you. And there might be some type of fear here. But Spirit says, like, the person who's going to like you or the people that's going to ask you out, because it might be more than one, is going to go off of how you are reacting to them. So, if you are looking for love, go after love and enjoy it. You might meet your person through work. You might have a couple of crushes at work. But honestly, I feel like... Spirit is saying that you're going to have, like, how can I say this? I don't know how to say it. I can see it, but I can't say it. I can see it, but I can't say it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you're about to get a lot of opportunities in love. And sometimes it might be kind of fearful with all these opportunities or whatever. But I think that spirit is trying to say, 
the more you start making empowered decisions that allow you to release any type of fear or any type of disbelief when it comes to love because it keeps on saying release heal like letting go of regret having patience with love there will be results there will be outcomes there will be something tangible that you can see um and spirit is saying that they're trying to bring you closer to some type of um loving relationship so i think it's trying to say i mean, i feel so rusty i think it's trying to say then you're going to be going through an opportunity coming very soon where you're going to get a lot of opportunities opportunities to go out on dates or you might have opportunity more than one type of crush you might have to make some decisions whatever or you might just have a boyfriend or a girlfriend they might be just wanting to show you out or they might be paying attention to you and wanting to offer you something spirit says don't be afraid to accept this opportunities um, because they're trying to bring you good things in your life, but you have to be in the energy of being gentle with yourself, not being fearful of the what ifs and making power decisions and having patience and peace in that patience. You might meet some of these people through work or, um, something like that, because it keeps on saying like, whatever you are wanting you are going to be reflecting out. So if you don't feel like you deserve to be appreciated and loved, then it's, it's going to reflect out and you're not going to get that energy. But if you are ready for love and know that you deserve it and you're excited and happy for these opportunities, then more opportunities are going to come. Does that make sense? Ah, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's this? Decide what you really want and stop reliving the past. Don't escape emotions. Talk to spirit. Unexpected opportunities are coming. Don't be afraid to move forward. New opportunities are coming. Prayer. And talking to spirit is important. Living in the energy of lightheartedness. Some of you guys might be meeting new people through friendships. Um, and just waiting for a sign. Stepping back. And having, making positive changes i think what is really trying to say because your overall cards is deciding what you really want letting go of the past and vibrating higher so i think it's just trying to tell you what's coming for you is really meant for you and not to be anxious about it but to ask for what you want and go after it i think that's what it's trying to say y'all let me know if i'm wrong child because what you are reflecting is what you're going to get. But honestly, what's coming towards you is, is it seems like it's going to be something that's good. Uh... Oh, Palby, what is coming to us, Palby? joy confidence good luck happiness truth openness you have the star card hope recognition inspiration spirituality healing okay 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 what's coming towards you it's a lot of happiness a lot of hope um if you have been feeling like overburdened or overloaded with responsibilities and stress and problems, maybe you've been feeling like you've been like having an uphill type of struggle, Spirit says still continue to have faith. Still continue to stay calm and positive. I 
Okay, so what's coming towards you is a lot of good luck. Um, you might even be having some opportunities when it comes to some type of financial situations that might be coming towards you. Some type of financial um, a blessing, maybe signing some type of contract, um, making a good financial decision. Uh, some of you guys might even be making some type of big purchases. Um, but some type of financial investment, uh, that is going to be a good thing, budgeting on all of that. Spirit says, if you've been feeling like you've been struggling, if you've been having some type of weight on your struggle, struggle, <laughs> weight on your shoulder, Spirit says that hope and optimism and good luck and happiness. That's, 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 that's a lot of success is coming towards you. So be hopeful. Okay. Um, let me know if this made any type of sense. I don't know. I feel kind of rusty. But let me know what you think about this. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Hi, Pal C. Okay, Pal C. Pal C, what is next in your love life for November and December? What is coming in Palsy's love life for the month of November and December? Walking away, escapism, good news and earthly matters, beginning, setting goals, good luck, destiny, chance, karma, balance, resourcefulness, ups and downs, successful achievements, chaos, destruction, partnership, you know, okay. Some of you guys might be planting seeds. Children might be a possibility. You know, it's always a possibility to wear condoms. Um. <laughs> You're going to be really, really liking someone. Um. I think this is more of like if you have someone already well let me read the whole thing it might not be uh it's saying something about good luck changing good news balance and and success something about achieve achievements and love and having a partner who likes you just as much as you like them um a relationship this is someone who uh maybe you're in the energy of trying to use logic over your heart um maybe you're trying to just figure out if you're making the right decision in love um maybe you're just trying to figure out what you know trying to be very clear about what you want out of love but in the next couple of months it seems like you're going to be successful with some type of love energy like maybe you're going to be learning something about your relationship with your person spirit is saying like this is your soulmate someone that you have some karma with and this is going to be someone that you're going to be in like a um maybe it's going to be guided towards some type of partnership the you could it keeps on saying something about family so you could already have children with this person you could have family members that are connected to each other um you could feel like family with this person you could be building a, a family with your fur babies with this person a uh, family's coming all different type of shades colors sizes it doesn't fucking matter but it just says that whatever you are whoever, whoever you are connecting with maybe is actually family family that you might be spending a, oh yeah november and december duh so some of you guys might be going over family houses and spending time over the holidays with y'all family. Some of you guys might be getting proposed over the holidays with your family. That might be a thing too. Some of you guys might be finding out about pregnancies. It's it's something about family, holidays, and joyfulness. Um, a lot of fortune. And it <laughs> and it happening um unexpectedly. 
like unexpected changes. There's some something that's gonna happen where you're not gonna be thinking about it. Um, but it's saying something about a lot of success and closing out a chapter and starting new chapters. A lot of harmony. So whoever you are with this holiday season is going to be someone that you're going to feel very compatible with. Um, something where the relationship is going to be very flexible. Um, you might be trying to walk away from some type of disappointment or do you, maybe you might be in the energy of just letting things go and, and or focusing on yourself because it keeps on saying something about self-discovery and that you have the queen of swords and that is a, a woman or a feminine energy that is constantly thinking and using her mind. Um, he, her mind, whatever. Um, and trying to make the right decision. So maybe you've been through that self-discovery energy and you're trying not to do the same dating patterns and you're wanting new and not new, but better. You're learning. And that's creating good luck and good karma. So some of you guys might not know this person, but if you know this person already, then this is uh, what I said before is your story. But if you don't know anyone, then Spirit is saying with self-discovery and maybe you've had some type of disappointments or maybe you've been looking for the truth and what you just really, really want with yourself, really, really want out of love. You're being very clear about this. That's going to increase energy in your That's going to make you very decisive. And from personal experience, when it comes to love, you have to be very, very decisive about what you want out of love, you know? Um, and the more decisive you are about what you want and what you need, the clearer spirit can hear you, the less confusion that you have in your message, and the stronger your manifestations are. Take it from me. <laughs> okay, I would not lie to you about that shit. It works. Just be open-minded, right? But it just says that um, when you're open-minded, you set goals, you look for opportunities, you allow yourself to have good luck, great chances, you're flexible with this, you're open-minded with this, you're in the energy of accepting love and viewing love in an innocent and playful way, it's going to bring a lot of success. And it's going to bring you a partnership that you've been looking for, someone that is going to be your soulmate, that's going to bring you a lot of harmony. So I feel like in this period, with all my pals, honestly, it's a lot of love energy going around. Um so much love coming towards you guys and I, I feel like you being very clear about what you want is going to be very successful for you regardless if you're in a relationship or not so if this makes any type of sense to you I hope this was very clear but if this makes any type of sense please let me know and I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one